Time for us to head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Um, this one just about Baker Mayfield and some perspective with his play. Uh, I, I'd like to say uh, something about Baker Mayfield that has, I, I've only seen it uh, written or said once. Uh, four quarterbacks, Peyton Manning, Jim Kelly, uh, Joe Theismann, and the New York quarterback, forgive me, I can't remember his name, that, that uh, brought the Giants to two Super Bowls. I, and I don't mean Manning. Uh, their records after four years – were virtually the same as Baker Mayfield's. Now, were people saying that they were just average quarterbacks at that time, or are they they were inaccurate or whatever else? They got sacked too much. Uh, probably not. Uh, Baker brings out the worst in most of these announcers. Uh, the other thing is Kevin Stepanski, Stepanski, excuse me, uh, is the coach, and Baker was supposedly lost this past year with a great uh, team around him. Well, Kevin Stepanski, Spanks, excuse me, uh, he coached that team that supposedly had all this great talent. I think Baker will be around a lot longer than Kevin. Uh, thank you for taking my call. All right, as always, we appreciate the voicemails uh, of uh, all voicemailers. So Phil Sims was the quarterback from the Giants uh, the caller was trying to talk about. Um, Jeff, I'm not one that – I think Baker Mayfield's a starting caliber quarterback in the NFL. I think he will be. I think you have to build a very, very strong team around him. Um, I wouldn't call him an elite quarterback. I think he can win with him, not because of him. So I get why the Browns went for the upgrade. I, I don't understand yeah, – and, and you know, you knew by the time that, you know, Manning and Kelly and Theismann, you knew they were going to – Ascend. Baker's been up and down and all over the place. He's too inconsistent. He he is, and and something else that the color said there was that you know he, he Baker does bring out the worst in, in commentators and announcers and those of us in the media. I think Baker likes it that way though. That's that that's a conscious choice by Baker Mayfield to be the way he is. And that's how he that's how he thinks he thrives. He he loves that chip on his shoulder. He loves to play that off. Um, that's a difficult way to exist in the long term, um, both in one market and overall, because uh, sooner or later, you're, you're going to need those guys to support you um, as, as much as we like to downplay the role of the media, um, even though we're in the media ourselves. There is some influence in how we shape things. And if, if you're constantly making it accusatory and negative and, and agitating at it. That's going to wear on your teammates from time to time. I, I, I saw that personally with another very good player um, in Detroit, and, and Dominican Sue was like that. He was somebody who always had to have that adversarial relationship, and it wore thin in the locker room as well, even though he was still a great player, a, a better player at defensive tackle than Baker Mayfield has been or ever will be at, at quarterback. Baker Baker's going to have to do some realization on his own if he wants to outlast Kevin Stefanski. Obviously, that's not going to happen in Cleveland. I'm with you, Dave. I think he is an NFL starting quarterback, and I do think that he can be a good one with a good team around him. Um, I'm not going to take that 2020 season away from him. I'm not going to take that rookie season where he set the NFL record for rookie touchdown passes despite the chaos that was going on around him. Like th That guy can play. Um, I, he deserves a starting spot in the NFL. It's going to be tough for him to find one this year, and he Baker's going to have to make some changes to himself. He's going to have to realize that he can't continue being – the same Baker that he is now if he wants to have that long-term success because he, it's, he's showing, look, if you can't get along with, with some of the guys that he's had in this locker room and on this team, it's not going to fly anywhere else either. He has to step up to that. Can he do it? Yes, he can. But he has, he, he has to, it's incumbent upon him to realize that he needs to adapt and change as well if he wants to last and thrive. Yeah, and here's the thing. He, he's got that chip on his shoulder as being a walk-on. You're no longer a walk-on. You were the first pick in the draft. So uh, that, yeah, that that, that, you, yeah. that just doesn't that no longer plays. Okay, you were a walk on twice. Now you're the first pick in the draft. You got to act like it.